hello guys welcome to new tutorial and here we will be looking on how to work with our profile fragment because when we come here we don't see the username so whenever we log in we need this to be updated and the way we worked on our uh, toolbar image and the name it should work similar so I think this was the least important so that is why I have kept it in the last okay okay return view here what I'm simply going to do is database reference reference firebase user user circle image view image view text view username and what we will do here is whenever this app is being launched we want it to be updated automatically so first of all I will go to user firebase auth get instance get current user and uh, yeah and also we will cast the views image view find view by okay sorry view dot find view by id image profile frag image yeah profile fragment image and username view find view by id and uh, uh, what do we say it here username profile fragment okay so now what we'll do here is get a reference firebase database get instance get reference users dot child because we want to display our information there in profile fragment that is why you have to be specific when referring to that path so user dot get uid if the user id is same with the user who has logged in then display information so username yeah we are listening from the values so we will apply a value event listener and uh, here what i'll do is user users this might get mixed up with this one but let's just watch carefully snapshot dot get value user dot class and what we'll do here is username set text users dot get username and here if users get image URL equals default then image view set image resource drawable user else image uh, else glide with context oh sorry I'm in a fragment so here will be get application context load users dot get image mr image URL into image view so okay okay um, So I think we are fine for now and in the next tutorial I'll show you how to upload the image that is going to be a little bit longer that is why I just wanted to get done with this one first where you can see the name 
and I will then explain why I keep on writing image URL everywhere because this is going to be really easier for us because we have used only one uh, string similar string everywhere okay so it is displaying the name of the user and yeah so I'll see you in the next tutorial where we will be able to upload images here or we will be able to see our images uh, whether we are here when the user sends us message here also we will be able to see images all over the place with not so simple but not so lengthy code so I will see you in the next one thank you guys